I gotta write more poop answers down. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Liam Lammy Podcast. This is episode two, and we finally have a guest. Uh, give him a round of applause, please. Uh, what's up? How's your day? My my day is doing pretty pretty good, man. Thank you. Well, how about you, man? It's it's all right. It's I'm just chilling. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I just got finished with school as well. Yeah, I'm I, done school. Yeah, man, I got a pretty long project done as well. You know, 80 points is now in my name. Very Let's nice, go. very nice. Thanks, man. It took me, like, two hours to do. <laughs> like, two hours straight? Yeah, just, like, nonstop. Oh, wow. Didn't, like, didn't even stop to do something else, just two you hours. You didn't even put music in the call. That's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just just happened, man. That's you know, how hard you were focusing. Yep, yeah, I was sitting there. I was like, oh man, you know, it would be really great if I added this and then this and then that and then this. They'd all work together. At least it was great. It it was it was a pretty good payoff in the end. Oof. All right, all right. So I got a few questions for you. Uh, yes, I'm getting podcasted now. Yep. <laughs> We're, they're, they're all like two minutes long questions, you know, they're open answers for both of us. It's, it's, I, I wrote them down though, so. Here's number one. Number one is, uh, do you know that you're wasting time every time you sit on a toilet? Uh, I mean, I kind of do because I sit on my phone for like five minutes. Me too, yeah. It, it, I, I feel like that's something a lot of people do, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I'm, I'm not... proud to admit it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm like... I'll be, like, done in two minutes, but I'll just stay on there on my phone, just scrolling. <laughs> yeah, my, my brain thinks, it's like, you know what? There might be more. You never know. So just sit on You might for find the minutes. cure to cancer if you stay here for one more minute. <laughs> you might figure out how to cure cancer just in that one minute, you know? You know, like, when they say that you use 70% of your brain after you do something intense, like a fight or something? Actually, you no. know, like... Oh, when, now you do. How does it feel, fact? man? Uh, I guess I've used 70% of my brain. That is true. You do use 70% of your brain. <laughs> oh, God. So, <laughs> Alright, that was number one. Here's number brain two. Brain facts. <laughs> you know, I actually just learned that the other day as well. I, ever since I learned that, it's just been in my head the entire time I've ever heard it. Oh, God. <laughs> number two. How do you think they named poop? They named poop because. Mm -hmm. hmm. You you would have to think it's kind of like a tricky answer. Like who would go out of their way? You know, I don't know when poop was named in the first place, but probably someone. You know, they they were done. They looked behind them and they're like, poop. You know, maybe maybe it's like it was like a bodily function to seeing it. Maybe it was just something that went into their heads immediately. Like, you know, when you put two and two together one day in school and you're like, oh, yeah, huh, that does work. You know, like those kind of moments? Yes. What if it was like that? Or, you know? You, know, you know those people with, like, I think it's called Tourette syndrome, where sometimes after they talk, they just go like, blah, 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 blah. Like, you yeah, know that? Yeah. yeah, maybe it was just someone with Tourette syndrome and they just said that. That is true. And someone nearby heard it and they're like, that's a great name. It's a great name. name. It that. Oh god! Yeah, thank you, Tourette syndrome. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I, I have no idea how how it was named in the first place, so we're just coming up with our own theories that could be true. All could right. be true. Here's number three. Yep, here's number three. Do you believe in poop? No. I agree. All right. Here's number four. Which one of the two do you prefer, pee or poo? Uh. Duh. Huh. It's a tricky one. Hmm. You see... Which one... So there's I guess that's... feeling-wise, and there's taste-wise. Which one do I prefer? Hmm. You, you, you know... You know, both of them. Uh, both of them. Go... Both of them. Drink, oh. and, drink and food. Drink and food. Easy. <laughs> I mean... Call yeah, me the recycler. That, that is a pretty straightforward answer. 
That is a pretty straightforward answer. It was what I was looking for. I am the messiah of the environment. I just reuse, reuse, reuse. You're like a recycling person then. Exactly. I am a recycling bin. Whatever comes out of me, I, I haven't eaten real food in years. When was the last time you eaten real food? Um, what was it? I believe I had baby food as a baby, and I've just kept recycling. That's how it all started. My mom From fed me baby beginning. food, and I got into my diaper and just immediately. You got into your diaper and you're like, nah, this isn't gonna work. I, well, there's food right here. There's chocolate right here. Why is everyone complaining about getting new food? And then I've just been doing I mean, that my entire life. Yeah, people have been wasting their money repeatedly, so this you does just, work. Just eat what you have there. Exactly. Just why instead of you being so greedy, just eat what you have. You know. Exactly. I'm helping the landfills. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. Here's my fifth and final question. Do you think eighth dimensional beings poop or pee? Here's my question. What is an eighth dimensional being? An eighth dimensional being is a being that can do stuff that we cannot, and we cannot see them because we are like four dimensional, I think. Oh, I heard we, about this. Yeah, I was yeah. on I was on like TikTok last night and there was like a thing. Or it's like, what if, what, like, like guy if, if if we doing... were t- if we were two dimensional and they were three dimensional, we wouldn't be able to see. Yeah, I haven't. That's interesting to think about. Yeah, fun fact: dogs, like dogs, they are three dimensional beings, and we are four. I think we are four. I think, I think it's like that. Yeah, I keep getting those kind of stuff confused. It's either so, two or four. Wait, how are they three dimensional beings and we're four? I'm not sure, but I remember me hearing it somewhere, and then someone was like, that is true, and I was like, all right. I mean, isn't the fourth dimension time, so that do dogs, like, not ha- have awareness of time? Well, I'm, I'm assuming they do, because I heard somewhere that, uh, actually, no, that wouldn't be, yeah, so I heard somewhere that dogs can tell if it's going to, like, rain or something like that, and, um, you know, they use that for, like, news pod or news stuff, you know, et cetera. That's but really I guess that interesting. Really, yeah, but I guess that really wouldn't cut into anything like time-wise. You know, I feel like that would just be if anything, whatever. they they would have more can more knowledge over time than us. Yeah, dogs, man, they got a lot more better stuff than humans do. You know, they may be sleeping all day in some occasions. You know, like my dogs, but other than that, their sense of hearing, their sense of smell is pretty good. Maybe their sense of tail or a taste isn't that great. You know, hmm. we don't know. We haven't. You know, tasted anything from a dog's point of view. Or so the it. higher dimension that you are, the more you can, the the more you can see, but the less you can do. Mm-hmm. It's S- like, as a way to think about it, you can think of eighth dimensional beings being ghosts. You know, you can't see them. You can't, you know, you can't do anything about them. You, they're just there. Like, what if there's one behind you, just standing there watching over you? All right, one second. I'm gonna go. Yeah, there's nothing there. I punched. <laughs> Yeah, let me make sure. Hold on. All right. Yeah, we're good. Or maybe I did punch them, and I just can't feel them because they're eighth-dimensional beings. <laughs> it's like just do what that the heck? True. You've been we, sitting here. We probably punching we me. We probably did just. We probably did just scare them. You know, like they they weren't expecting that at all. I mean, I'm just punching the exact same place like 15 times right now. So if they walk into it, it's their fault. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get them. Or maybe, or maybe he's just like stuck in a wall. So I'm just punching him in a corner. <laughs> maybe he's just trying to get away from you now. You have scared the eighth dimensional being. Oh, you no. are you are now well, the ninth dimensional being. The universe is over. Uh, I kind of started the end of the universe. <laughs> Anyways, to answer what? your question no. about if eighth dimensional beings poop, no, because we've just said that the higher dimension you are, the less you can do. So no, they do not poop. You, you know, I was thinking that, you know, like, if they were to poop, they would have to eat first. So I guess that would beg if they, were, the if they would poop, if they eat. If they would poop, I would be, like, stepping all over it. Unless they have eighth dimension of toilets. <laughs> They're just in the wall of your house, but you don't know about it. Eighth di- so it's just an <laughs> entire eighth dimensional, like, universe. I could be in someone's house right now, like, walking through their walls. I'm just, like, in exactly. my bedroom. I mean, they know that we can't see them. 
so they're probably like, oh, he's here again. Let's be quiet. You know, we don't want to scare him. Like you don't you don't know people could be just walking around their house, you know, like in haunted mansions, and little did they know it's actually an eighth dimensional being playing around with them. We don't know yeah, that. I mean, we don't, don't know that. What exactly. if is there a sixteenth dimensional being? I don't think there is. I, I I think God would be an eight, like a sixteenth dimensional being. Uh, maybe. I'm actually not sure about that. I've never looked into that kind of stuff. <laughs> I've never looked into any of this stuff. You know, I just heard. I find like, that stuff right. fascinating. That yeah, kind of that kind of gives me a question for you. Uh, do you believe in ghosts? I do believe in ghosts. Same. Yeah, I've I've uh, I haven't had any paranormal experiences. Besides happening. your demon but closet. I, besides my demon closet, that is, I I do have my chair still there and it yeah, hasn't moved <laughs> in a, an entire year. Maybe that's why you're still alive. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, I do have a Jesus right there. I used to have two Jesuses. Uh, they're with my mom now, except for one of them. Well, if that chair mo- <laughs> if you see that chair move a bit, then you have to get that Jesus back from your mom. <laughs> my Jesus, if they're growing weaker. Oh, good. It's like Team Rocket. Just yeah. You have to have two of them. <laughs> yeah. I, this Jesus right here. Hold on, let me get up and get him. I'm going to yeah. try and accidentally not punch my microphone i sometimes do that what did you give her did you give your mom pen jesus or did you give her the dancing jesus oh i gave her pen jesus Uh, dancing jesus is too much powerful like he's too powerful dancing jesus can hold off the closet but it's just harder (laughs) yeah it's just a little bit harder for him alone you know yeah whatever you're doing is always the best yeah. It's like you know you're not alone. You know you know that you have someone there to help you with whatever you're going through. You have someone there that can help you with, you know, the project that you're doing, or if you're making a song, they can help you with that, and etc. Just having more people is good, but it's also sometimes comes to a risk on whatever is going on. Yeah, you know, like it it could be several things going on. You know, like one of them could be, oh man, I guess one of them could be like medieval times you know more people equals more amount of spies in there i mean you don't know who's actually on your side and who isn't exactly wait Mm -hmm. Uh, what if that closet is the heaven closet and jesus is a demon i've never thought about that you know that that could be a big brain demon play right there though i mean he's kind of safe i mean if you're gonna go to heaven you're dead so i guess he's saving you the, that that is true if i do go to heaven i i will die you know like when they say ignore the light and like in movies and someone's dying or something or they're dead well is there any light they, in your closet or is it just a dark abyss i don't know let me check real quick oh no he's gonna open it no you never know man oh no it's pretty dark in there man all right so maybe I, it I is maybe it, maybe it is the portal to hell <laughs> I don't see any light in there. <laughs> Not a single light. It's <laughs> it, it was pretty dark. Well, oh if Jesus being a demon is the case, I have never told you about Henry. And Henry, Henry is... Yeah, I just... I've had Henry for a long time, but what Henry is, is if you turn on the light, and you know, you put Henry under it, and you know, you just let him sit there for a little bit as a light, you know, kind of beams down onto him. If you then shut off the light, he would glow in the dark, you know? I call his- his name is Henry the Skeleton, because he's a skeleton. He's about a foot tall, and he has like a string above his head where you can hang him on anything. I have him sitting behind my computer, so he's looking at me. He's also looking at Jesus, I just realized that. Yeah, oh, he's also looking at Jesus. they're having a little rivalry. He, they- they- <laughs> They are having a little rivalry, but if the- if a demon did come into my room, he would just eye down the demon, and who knows what he would do after. I think it is. I think Henry is a demon because Jesus is eyeing him down. Oh, uh, Jesus is eyeing me down. Well, I guess oh. it's because I pointed him at me. Hold on, let me point him at the skeleton. It's all right. We're just, they're just gonna have a little rival rivalry for like. Gonna have a staring whatever. contest. Yep. Three to one. Go. All right. I'll tell you which one loses. Yeah, because they're definitely gonna. If they blink, you need to run. Oh, uh, if they're blinking, <laughs> I'm. I'm out of here. <laughs> if they're blinking, you need to throw them in that closet. Yeah. And then set the closet on fire. <laughs> and then crush it with a hydraulic press. Make make a video out of it. Top 10 satisfying moments. 
Top 10 satisfying moments. Crushing my house with a hydraulic press. No one's done it before. No one's done it before. I mean, it's how original. has anyone? No, I don't. You're gonna have to build. You you would have the world record for building the largest uh, hydraulic press, and you'd get views from crushing your house. That is true. You know, all my money could go into the hydraulic press, and then just hope that I get my money back. You know, I I heard YouTube is uh, not doing too well and giving back to the creators though, but. Nope. In fact, they're putting ads on smaller creators who don't have monetization, and YouTube gets all the money. I saw that. Uh, yeah. I saw that a few months ago. I uh, I think that actually started a few months ago. Well, obviously, because you know I saw it a few months ago. But um, I haven't gotten any ads on smaller creators except for I guess you. I've gotten a few ads for you, but uh. Other than that, I haven't really gotten uh, too many ads from smaller creators that I watch. You know, some YouTube shorts or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but I guess then again, you shouldn't be able to get ads on a YouTube short. No, that that so like it's gonna be like half of your videos a ad. Exactly. Like, I mean, how are you gonna skip it? What's the skip button gonna look like? Um, probably the skip button. <laughs> Wouldn't, I mean, why, 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 why it, wouldn't it could be something different why wouldn't they just be take different they could just take the asset from normal videos and put that in <laughs> laziness that's youtube that yeah that you do make a pretty good point right there I, i've never actually thought about that, that yeah. good point. youtube's pretty bad yeah youtube is i mean i heard that uh People have been desperately trying to get another website. It starts with the P. I'll tell you that. It, it, I have heard people are trying to oh. get those creators. Yeah, I've heard people are trying to get those creators to make an actual like YouTube website, where it's not YouTube, but it's their own format of YouTube, basically. Yeah, so Vimeo tried like, to do that and they failed. Yeah, so then. It, yeah, they 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 did unfortunately, but it's it's all right. You know, you can't you can't really win them all. You know, no. sometimes, yeah, sometimes we just got to stick with what we got, which what we got was YouTube, which is bad, but it's better than it is. Yeah, it sucks, but it's it's whatever. We've got it. It's better in small ways, like small, unnoticeable ways, you know, like sometimes uh, um, they put in a clip thing that you could use if you're on like PC and you're watching someone's uh, video they do something funny you're like oh hey i want to share that to my friends but i want them to only see that part if we scroll down just under the video you see like a clip and then you just click that and i, I haven't done anything afterwards I've that's never a actually... feature yeah it's it's only on some videos i know that um huh. other creators have it but it's like it's like kind of hard to find those type of things i had no yeah. clue that was a feature at all I've seen it around a lot. I've seen it around on gaming channels mostly. Gaming channels are. I'll check if it's on mine then in a second. Oof. Not in a yeah. second after the podcast. Uh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wait, I can cross this off my list because you already talked about this. There we go. Well, I can also cl cross we, Demon we sped Closet ran off the all list. The stuff I had. Yeah, you already got through Cheese Rant and Demon Closet. Yep. Uh, I guess I can start with this question. I actually, I, I did it. One second, I gotta rewrite this. L V. There we go. You live in Vegas, right? I sure do. What is it like living there? It's boiling hot now. Like, I, I've only been to two places in my life, which was California, and I was there four years ago, and then I moved up here four years ago. Um. Ever since I moved up here, I've changed, like, a lot. In Vegas, I feel like a lot more about me has changed only because um, of the people that I'm around now. Like, when I'm at school, the people I'm around. When I was at my old school, um, I was around, you know, it was, like, elementary around the time. So, I, I was around people that really didn't care if you cursed in front of them. And that was just me all every sentence, you know, there's a curse there, there's a curse there, there's a curse you said, everywhere. What? You what? You're like... I used to curse a lot. Uh-oh. Like, 
Because I know you, I know you as the, <laughs> I know you as the dude who like is I, against it, or like not against it, but like doesn't say it. Well, I'm not against it, but then again, like it, it might come out someday. We just don't know. We don't know what happens. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not really against it, but ever since I moved up here, I've been with people that haven't cursed. Well, they do curse, but they don't curse as much as my older friends do. Huh. And so yeah, I've just been hanging out with them. I'm still hanging out with them, but not. I haven't hanged out with them in like a year now, but still, I've, I sometimes check up on them. I'm like, you doing all right? And they're like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, that's interesting. I've mainly to think changed. I. I mainly changed only because of the people I'm around. If I never moved, I probably still would have been cursing to this day. Hmm. Hopefully, I don't corrupt you then. <laughs> Me and you are gonna have to do more than like a thousand hours of us talking to each other. Yep, I'll just sit just in the vibes one, call for a bit. Just for one. <laughs> Me and you have been in the vibes call for a bit. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we, me and him, we just sit in a vibes call, listen to music. He plays music, I play music, we all play music. It's mostly your music because yeah, I don't want to change it. And then I won't change it if I'm sitting in your call. It just switches roles every time. Yep. Whoever gets in there first, man, they get to be the DJ. Yep. They get to be the DJ of the house. Oof. Yep. I normally don't change your music because yeah. I like listening to other music besides the stuff I listen to every single day. Yeah, I went through a really long JoJo phase. Yeah. I have never I have never went through any phase longer than that, like a few months. I ever since I uh started watching JoJo, like part 1 man just didn't stick with me. And then I finished like I just binged onto it for a long time, you know, like maybe a month later I had finished up to part 3. And then I didn't I, like I didn't watch it for a long time, but once I watched part four and five, that's when I started actually listening to the music. I started listening to theme songs. I started listening to openings, and and then it just started st sticking with me, man. And then I was like, you know what? This music's pretty good. I'm gonna listen to this wherever. So well, yeah, I just started listening to music wherever, and I found out Kirby really likes it. I didn't know Kirby liked the JoJo in the first place until I was playing it one day in uh in the call. Mm -hmm. In Smitter Space. Very nice. Yeah, Jojo music is very good. Yeah, I, I'm actually trying not to listen to it because I don't want to get bored of it. I was I realized I was yeah. getting bored of Bloody Stream, and I was like, man, I really like this song, so I don't want to get bored of it. So I just yeah, that's that's the one that I like listening to is Bloody Stream. God. Hey, they I hit... was right. I was like, <laughs> I was hoping you would like Bloody Stream the most. No, yeah, Bloody Stream's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Even though you haven't watched JoJo yet. No, it's, it's been like right. it's been like two months since you asked me to watch it, and I still haven't watched it. I I don't want to push the phase, you know. It, it'll come eventually. Come eventually. I'm just not a big anime. I'm not against anime. Like I'm not like people who are like, if you watch anime, you're the scum of the earth. But I just like most anime when I watch them, I just don't find interest mm -hmm. in them. Yeah, I guess it just really depends on what you're into. Yeah, like because you go. Okay, yeah, I go. You, you I go. Okay, you. okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, go. cause like I didn't like stuff like One Punch Man and Attack on Titan on the first. I mainly Attack on Titan because there wasn't any action. Or well, that's what, I should probably get back into Attack on Titan because I didn't like it for the first bit, and then the, the last shot where like the village is getting attacked, I really enjoyed. So maybe I should get back into it. Yeah, I, I also feel like everything that you say, that um, everything you saw, you can say because um, you will, you've only seen a few parts. Like, you haven't seen Attack on Titan all the way through. and it's been I've seen like the first episode. Now. That's it. <laughs> yeah. You told, me start, you, you told me to start with episode four, and I just never did. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I'm back. Uh -oh. I thought I just connect. Nope, we're good. Yeah, in my opinion, uh, the first few episodes, they're just not really that great for people that want to start watching Attack on Titan or just anime in general. You know, mm -hmm. you want to hit good impressions, your first impressions. 
so that's what I worry about the most, especially with other people. And they're like, what anime would you prefer? And I'm like, well, I mean, it depends on what you're into. Yeah. You know, well, if you're, in, you're into more of like a detective versus murderer thing, I would recommend Death Note if you're into more. Of yeah, like, yeah. That's like, yeah, I get a really good introduction to anime because that was the first anime that I've ever, that I've ever watched. Yeah, and that's a good anime to start on. I feel it like Attack really on Titan wouldn't stick with everyone just immediately. I feel like we just got lucky with the people that started watching it, you know, the people that we know. Yeah, yeah. Because it, uh, it, it'll take a lot of episodes for you to really snap with it. Yeah, that's but why yeah. That's why I've, I've never considered once in my life to watch One Piece. Because everyone says, it's good after episode 500, like <laughs> I'm going to wait that long. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. I, I, I'm just not even going to watch One Piece, only because of the amount of episodes that are in it. I mean, maybe one day I'll watch season one, and then I'll probably stop there. And if I like it, I might continue, and maybe not. But I've told myself that I'm not going to watch One Piece because there's like a thousand episodes now. Yeah, I don't really like watching Either that or shows that are over, like... Them. The only show that I've watched that I've enjoyed over two seasons, or like over two or three seasons, would be like Stranger Things. Mm-hmm, Yeah. You know, fun fact, I've never actually seen Stranger Things. You haven't? Mm-mm. I've mm. seen a lot of stuff for it, though. It's pretty decent. I used I, to I used to really love it, but now I think it's just okay. Mm-hmm. And, like, you had your own phase for it, like how I had my well, phase. Well, like, for, I didn't you know? enjoy season one. I enjoyed season two, and season three was kind of meh. Is it, is it one of those things that feels like it's just really ongoing? No, not really. It's just, like, every new season, like, season one I loved, and then when season two came out, I didn't like season one anymore. It's, like, one of those things where it, when it keeps going on, the the more you dislike the last parts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I've, so I've kind of yeah. gotten... And now that there's been, like, almost, like, two years since uh, the third season, I'm kind of sick of it now. Yeah. I... I mean, I could watch it, you know. I I actually don't have my very own per personal Netflix account. I have an account uh, from my cousin because it, it's based off of her Netflix account. Like, it's her own, you know, entire thing. And then she just one day, she was like, hey, have you seen this yet? And I was like, no. And then she's like, okay, what about this? And I was like, no. And she's like, do you have any, like, streaming platform? And I was like, no. And then she's like, what about Netflix? And I'm like, no. And then she's like, well, maybe I can get you an account on it, and we can get you set up, and you can watch some stuff. And I was like, cool. So then that's how I got Netflix. And yeah, I just Free started binging on to... Exactly, I just started watching stuff that I haven't seen in a long... or, And I just started watching stuff I haven't seen in a long time, but I also started watching stuff I haven't seen. Hmm. Main, mainly, I was trying to catch up on Avatar, but I only got, like, past part two. Yeah. It... Yeah, it... I guess Avatar was one of those things that really couldn't stick with me as much. Mm -hmm. So that's why I haven't really finished Avatar, but yeah. other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah, there's a quite a bit of good shows on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix knows what to pick. Yeah. Well, but if, then again, if Netflix... you... Oh, yeah, you go, you go, you go. Yeah, you... All right, all right, I'll go, I'll go. So Netflix has some problems, though. Like, they will give you a show that you wanted to watch, but... That show could have like eight seasons, but they'll only like they'll only give you one. <laughs> and it's like, well, where am I going to see the rest? You know, there's more people are talking about it. Where, where can I see Dude, the rest? And like, that was me. Like when I was smaller, like Ninjago, like season like seven was happening on TV, and I went on Netflix, and they had only <laughs> up to season four, and I was so upset. <laughs> yeah, Ninjago was one of the things I loved growing up with. I think actually by the time I moved out, I stopped watching Ninjago because in my room I didn't get a TV when I first moved here. Right. Now for this entire year, I've moved into a more bigger room in the house and I'm only in here just for the school year because you know it's all on digital instead of us being in school. I thought you were back in person. I am back in person. What we're doing is we're... we're oh, every second we're, day you stay at home? Well, it's not like every second day. What, they are, what they're doing is A, B, and C days, or cohorts is what they're called. A cohort, B cohort, and C cohort. C cohort, you stay home the entire week. A cohort, you go to school on Mondays and Tuesdays. While B cohort, you go to school on Thursdays and Fridays. It's never Wednesdays, though, because that's when they're cleaning the school. Weird. So, And I think they clean the school over the weekends as well. I'm not sure about that. but That's overly I think they complicated. 
So I chose cohort B, so I should have been at school today. However, I wasn't because I have had uh, at-home personal stuff going on between my dogs and the neighbors, basically. Yeah, you got, like, there's, so, like, yeah, a it's... new dog, right? Really? So, well, you, there's, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we do have a new dog. Um, he's part husky, but he's more German Shepherd. I think he's asleep downstairs, and I would get him, and I'll try and get him to, like, bite the microphone, but I, I, I want him to be asleep right now because I know he's going to cause trouble at the house. Oh, he's a he's oh, yeah. a little pupper, so he's not gonna. Get, he's gonna cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, I think I'm not sure actually how old he is. I know how old my dog is though. My dog is a full breed of uh, German Shepherd, and he is one years old. Yeah. Well, yeah, the other dog is just a few months. I'm not sure how many months though. Does your dog hate the other one, or are they like okay? Um. No, they don't actually. They're okay with each other. They're they're like brothers now. Um, they do stuff together. They get in trouble together. Like they dig up our backyard and stuff. They scratch up the house yeah. together. Double team. <laughs> yup. Uh, double trouble. That's the one but, reason. That's one reason why I don't want to get a dog. Is all the scratching. I mean, when we had only one dog, aka when we just had my dog, um, it wasn't that bad. Like. He was mainly quiet the entire day, and the only time he wasn't quiet was when someone was walking by, and you know, he's a guard dog, so he's gonna bark at him. Mm -hmm. Which I was fine with. However, we're having, you know, issues with our neighbors that aren't fine with that, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have their own dog, but they have, like, a shock collar for the dog. Oh. Yeah, it, it's, not, it's not as bad as it sounds, you know, you can put on, like, voltage of, like, 5 or 10. Like, that's the maximum you can put it on, but they put it on, like, three or four, I don't know. Or five, you know, I don't even know. I guess it's not too bad. Instead of, like, completely paralyzing the dog, it's just, like, a small shock. <laughs> yeah. Over the weekends, though. This is when we get an extra two dogs over the weekends, only on uh, Sunday. Because my sister comes over with her boyfriend. And her boyfriend has a dog? And my sister has a dog. My sister has a dog that's a German Shepherd, which is, he's four years old. Wow. And he is like a territorial dog. He doesn't like to be other, he, like, he doesn't like to be around other dogs. You know, he gets jealous and etc. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, her boyfriend's dog is, um, like, it's, it's, it's a German Husky. Like, it's a German uh, Shepherd and part Husky, but it's more Husky. And with those type of dogs, you have to really, like, you have to already know how to train a husky because if you don't know how to train a husky you just got to sit through like multiple stuff about like this is how you have to train a husky and this is how you have to you know make them listen to you because they're trying to potty train their dog and we already got our dog potty trained we got him potty trained within like two weeks their dog is not potty trained and it's been a few months now like their dog is aggressive towards them their have dog will have they be... have they tried to potty train them or like did like, do they just neglect it? They, on what I know, that they are trying to potty train them. Like, their dog will pee in front of them, and then they tell me, like, honestly, at this point, it's driving them insane. You know, it's been a few months, and they're still trying to get it to work, and their dog is doing it on purpose. So what they'll do is that they'll pick up their dog, they'll rub their nose in the pee, and then they'll throw them outside. Like, they wouldn't throw them outside, they'll put them outside, and they'll lock <laughs> them out or whatever. <laughs> they'll roll them outside. <laughs> Grab them by the paw, and just, like, what is that like? That like one sport where you like have a big like a metal ball and you just spin around. Shot put, I think it's called. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. you just do that with the dog's paw, just throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> Launch them out. In the to California, you go. <laughs> yep. Yeah, good. Mm. So. Yeah, so it's just been that kind of stuff. Only on Sundays we get four dogs, though, and that and like our one household. And you know, with having a dog that's jealous of all the other dogs is not good. So we have to muzzle him. His name is Kuda. He's the four-year-old dog, while the other dog is the, you know, a few months old, on my sister's boyfriend. Hmm. Dog. Very nice. Yeah, and then fun fact. And then fun fact. Our dog. Our dog. His name is Rex, and he is the dog that's like a few months. 
and the other dog that's a few, few months, his name is Tona, and I and we have Rex. They're actually brothers, so that's why we're letting them come over, is because they can meet each other like once every week, which is pretty cool for me. So Rex cool got to potty and train in two weeks, and then the other one just decides not to. Yeah, I think the other one knows he has to go outside, but he's just not going outside. So he he like he's he like, like uh-uh. purposely like looks at them and goes to the bathroom once they take make eye contact. <laughs> yep. I I and saw I saw I that yeah on Twitter I was scrolling and this dude had a dog. He would he knows that he has to go outside, so he would wait for them to look at look at him and then he'd go in the go to the bathroom indoors. So, so they would have to like ignore him as much as possible when he came over yeah man that that oh jesus i can't even imagine having a dog like that yeah i'm i'm, I'm glad we got the better dog though i'm not gonna lie yeah oh god yeah it wasn't it wasn't that hard to train our potty trainer dog people people think potty training a dog is a lot of stuff to do which it kind of is you know they will pee inside the house they will poop inside the house but like once you've got like your system down you know you know how to pick up poop more faster than the first time you had to do it poops you know it just gets more easier exactly you know you could start a speed run you you could play the speed run music that dream always plays you could play that music and then boom so basically once you get a dog you will be very good at picking up poop pretty much you, you will get better at picking up poop Unless, um, hey, 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 well, we don't believe in poop, so... That is, yeah, we don't believe in poop. I mean, dogs can believe in poop, we we just won't, we won't believe in poop. Teach your dog to not believe in poop, and then he won't poop. This is a new way of potty training your dog. Yep. Train it, train it not to believe in poop. Yeah, n- new way to potty train. You don't eat, you don't poop. That That is facts, yeah. Yeah. If you don't eat, you won't poop. You don't drink, you don't pee. Exactly. People find this stuff to be everyday, you know, stuff that's always on their mind. You know, they're like, man, I really got to do this, especially when they're, like, on an airplane, you know. They don't want to go in, like, an opened area between that, what other people use, especially going on, like, the thing that's going okay, around. Okay, well, now. then reach down your throat, grab the food, throw it away. Exactly. You know, once your tummy is done with it, you know, your tummy's like, all right, we're done. Send it to, and then before they can finish, you, your hand is going down your throat. You get it all, you bring it back up, and you just throw it away. <laughs> Easy as that. You're like your body's like it's like congesting. It's like five, four, and you just like reach down your throat and grab it. <laughs> yeah. You're like speed running as well, <laughs> with like music playing. Right. Like your throat hole is like from the first time it's gotten from like small, and now it's just like huge, like fist size. Yeah. Yeah, you you'd think that, like you think maybe just maybe your body would be that smart, you know, if your brain could do it, why not your brain just tell your body like, "Hey guys, poop, no no." And they're like, "Mm, okay." You know, yep. that's all that's all it got to take. Why don't we just have a toilet in our stomachs? Exactly. Just have a have a toilet in our stomachs. It's like you just have like a big pipe on your in, on, under your foot. You stick it in the ground. Boom, easy. Yeah, you know they could have these pipes, you know, from like on the edge of like a sidewalk or something, and you just step over it. You know, you could also be on your phone as well, and you could be out in public. I mean, no one's gonna care about it because they're not gonna see it, unless you're one of those. No, but wouldn't that make people that go in like public restrooms like even more of like a shotgun spread? They they you wouldn't know? exist if you pooped through your foot. Yeah, but like, it's more of like a barrel. Then you know, you just keep pumping air. You know, build up the pressure, and then all you got to do is just let it go. You know, you just click the trigger, and then boom, shotgun spread. I imagine like the tube you out know? of your foot, like you like press like a button on your ankle, and then like it's like a paint pen where like you have to dab it for it to come out a bit. You start dabbing it, and then it comes out. <laughs> Oh, so it's like you gotta tap it a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way, if it has malfunction, it just pops yeah. out and you start walking. You, it doesn't immediately start flowing. Yeah, why couldn't God think of this, man? Like, 
Exactly. Give me god powers, and I will make the universe <laughs> ten times better. I, I feel like God didn't uh, turn on cheats, though, so maybe... God maybe, just didn't try. Didn't try. <laughs> God no was effort. like, what would make... God was like, what would make this world interesting? Oh, I got it. Humans that have trouble with everything in their lives. Yep. Done. Mm-hmm. Like, like, come on, man. There's so much stuff you could have done with us, and you just... That. I mean, I mean... Is our world like TF2 where it gets no updates, or can we get patch notes where we can poop out of our <laughs> tube in our foot? Exactly. We need some patch notes now. God, it's when's, the, when's the next DLC long. coming out? Next DLC will be next generation of when skies or buildings will start floating in the skies. I think this. Buildings. I think the, the coronavirus was just like a filler DLC so we could keep working on other stuff. Yeah, maybe the coronavirus was just a random DLC that he just put in without telling anyone. Yeah, think of, think about it. He wants us to stay home because it's COVID nineteen, so that way he can work on stuff while we're at home. Exactly. When we're at home, we can do our own stuff, and you know we couldn't get to it before, but now we can. You know we can do everything we want to do before that we couldn't. Exactly. And look, th th he's he's obviously ready with the next DLC because he created the vaccine DLC. <laughs> He, he did create the vaccine DLC, I, I will say that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yep. God. I, I he even gave it to me. <laughs> Yo, how's the DLC? I actually haven't got it yet. It's, I get it on the 27th. Oh, so it, it's still arriving, you know? It's still, it's, it's still taking time it's, to arrive it, I at your pre, I pre-ordered the DLC. Oh, okay, yeah. Makes more sense, yeah. Yeah. It's taking, a, you know, it's just taking a few moments for it to stick, you know? Yeah, other people paid paid more money for it, so they got it early. Mm-hmm. The other people were too worried. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't have to pay at all because it's ca it's free Canadian health care. So. That, yeah. I mean, lucky for you, I'm not a Canadian, so I don't I don't give. You go in for your vaccine shot, and you have to sell your entire house, which is now gone because you hydraulic pressed it. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll just sell my hydraulic press. You're solid. You'll give them your pressing. world record reward. Hey, man. Well, I gotta do what I gotta do to get some money, you know? Yep. And it's, it'll still be like, you still owe like $8,000 because you like stub your toe in America and you have to pay fortune. <laughs> yep. Hospitals, they're... I, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't realize you had to pay fees, you know, when you get out of like a hospital thing. When I was a kid, I was like, man, when, like, hospitals are so nice to you, they just fix you right up and you get to go home. Nope. When I found out that, like, if you broke a toe, you gotta pay it, like, $100,000 just for a toe to be fixed. Yep. And even then, all they gotta do is just snap your toe back in place. That's all they gotta do. Uh-huh. <laughs> they they yep. fix your leg by breaking your bank account, basically. I wonder what happens to the people that weren't able to pay it. I don't know. Well, I mean, for toes, like, my mom especially, she, like, broke her toe when we were on vacation, like, a year ago, and she just, she didn't do anything about it. Because it's a toe, it's like, it's like, it's, it's a toe, you can just put it back in place while you're in your shoe. Yeah, that is true. You, you could cramp up your uh, toe space until it gets fixed. Yeah. And how, how did she break it? Uh, it's the, like whacked it on a door, like a solid wood door. Oh, Ouch. it was it was just her pinky toe though, so it wasn't like huge. Oh okay, I, I've stubbed my toe a few times, and the last time I stubbed my toe was pretty bad. I haven't stubbed my toe in a while, no. Oh, that's I, like I, I, I only I only <laughs> I only stub my toe when I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like you're, as you said, my toe is just going. winding up. It has so much energy. The next time that I'm gonna like hit it, my toe's gonna fall off. <laughs> that reminded me of the really old clip. Like, do you remember the really old clip when it's like snowing and then there's like that guy? He's like, he has like a GoPro on his head. He's like recording, and you know he's kind of like, he's in like a kneeling down position. And I, I don't know really what events led to this, but he ended up taking off, like, his uh, sock, I think. 
and he put his hand around one of his toes, and it just popped off. Huh? <laughs> do you so, do you know about that clip? Like like the bone popped or like the the toe the toe the, the entire off. toe popped off. The entire toe popped off. Was it like a prosthetic toe or was it like his actual toe that just fell off? I think it was his actual how I do you haven't seen the clip in a while it was a pretty popular clip as well I'm surprised you haven't seen it so he just put his hand around his toe and it just fell off no he put it like, like I think he was wearing gloves as well so he put his uh, gloves or whatever you want to say hands around his toes and I and he I'm not sure what he was doing but he just pulled his hand back I think he was trying to like warm up his toes I'm not sure what was happening but Maybe you should have worn his like, toes, but he take his back. socks off. <laughs> he he pulled his hand back and they just popped off. Like I I think it was only like a small toe, or it may it may have been his big toe. I'm not sure. It, it was one of those. It was either his smallest off. toe or his biggest toe. One of those two. Yeah, uh, and then there was no blood coming out of his toe as well because it was frozen over. Oh, wait, did he have frostbite or something? It may have been frostbite. It, it, was, oh. it was pretty cold on what it seemed like. Like, you could see snow was, like, blowing by the camera. Well, that makes and sense. He was also on snow. Yeah, yeah, it didn't look like there was any, like, warm place nearby. That, that just made, like, my toes, like, curl and hurt. Oh, God. Yeah, your toes would be just curling while you're climbing up a mountain. That would hurt. You're, just, like, you're walking oh, no, on your bones I meant, at that like, point. hearing that made, like, my actual toes curl. Just like thinking about oh. that, your toes falling off. Hey man, oh. just just wear double socks. That's that's uh, that's socks. tough because I'm not sure how true this is, but but uh, apparently like your big toe balances a lot of your weight, or like it's like a big part of your balance. So losing that. Yeah, I, I well I guess if you lose your big toe, your little toes like your other toes would get like have to put in more effort. So you get, like, you get like six bad. packs on your toes. <laughs> your toes are working out every day, man. Yep, just become a Velociraptor like and have like up. three toes. <laughs> yeah. Toe I mean, press. Why, why, why go to the trouble of having five when you can have three? Exactly. Two on the front, you just gotta glue one on the back like a Velociraptor. I haven't seen them fall. Yeah, I mean, I, I bet you they don't stub their toes. Probably because stairs didn't exist back then, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe they, maybe they just didn't have anger issues. Maybe maybe dinosaurs were nice and peaceful, and that's why the meteor came, because... Yeah. Meteor, meteor wasn't happy with it. And, it, you know, it. It was too nice that they had something really bad happen to them. Yeah, it's one of those moments when there's someone or something that's like... This is really good, and then later on, something happens to it. You know, like when you're in a game, you get something, you're like, "Hey!" And then it's like at the end of the game, you lose it. It's like, oh, exactly. Mhm. Mm all all nice things will eventually go away. It's like, like you're just like playing a game. You're like about to finish it, and then like, like so what? That reminds me of something. So, we had this Minecraft world on PS4. Uh, and I was playing on it once, and then my, my friend's cat decided to just randomly decide to just unplug the PS4. Oh, and that no. corrupted our entire, like, it corrupted his, his, the entire world. We couldn't play on it anymore. So, oh. <laughs> yep. And, like, and like, how, like, how was it corrupted? Was it just saying that you couldn't play, or was, like, Oh, yeah, you, co you, you couldn't get on it. You couldn't get on it. Oh, just, like, in period, like, you couldn't... Get on it. It, it was it was like it didn't exist. Oh, man, that must be tough. How yeah. much hours did you put into it? Uh, me personally, I didn't play it a lot, but I know that other people did. Mhm. Mm yeah. Was it one of those worlds where like a bunch of people played on it? Uh, three or four, I think. One of those two. Hmm. hmm. I well, think it was three. I guess having that many people. Yeah, having three people is like three times of one person, so I mean, that's good. But yeah, three times one is three, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Math genius.
<laughs> you you can call me. I I, I forgot his name. Who, who's the smartest math person? Albert Einstein. Yeah, you can call me Albert Einstein, even though I think he was a guy for science, but it's all right. Science is math. You know, math is science. Math is science. Science is math. I think he was more of a time person mm-hmm. than a science person, actually. Yeah, I, a lot of his quotes were actually about time, huh? Yeah, like, time is relative. Something like that. Mm-hmm. I that can't think of one of his quotes. Have you, have you seen... Albert Einstein's desk the day he died. No, you haven't. I gotta show you this I one haven't. second. Cause like, oh, I feel like, like I'm missing out on a lot right here. Stein desk d- d- desk the day he died. There I'm, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, I'm, I I kind of want to know what's going on now. I'll put it in the next chat. All right. Uh, right here, I'll put a photo of this on the podcast once I edit this. Boom! This was his desk the day he died. So, it, like, wow. he, he must have been like working on something. Cause, like, wow. look, there's like so, there's so much stuff on the desk, so much or unorganization. There's like an entire forest of papers in there, man. Yeah, he like I'm pretty sure he was like a very like clean man because he was smart and everything. And then the day he dies, his desk is just an abomination. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're like, maybe he discovered something that someone else had wanted to discover. You know, like maybe someone assassinated him. We don't know. How did I? How did he die? I think. Oh, did wasn't did, didn't Sorry. he just like? I think he just died of like from being old. Uh... Then again, we I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the, I didn't get the way he died. But apparently, after he died, his brain was cut up for, for like scientific purposes. Mm-hmm. I, I know, I know that was a thing. <laughs> but uh, then again, we don't know how he died. You know, he could have died some other way. Someone could have like, he probably figured out how to go back in time or something. And some, uh, someone else. He died. Like, oh. He died from an aneurysm. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe his brain was just like like found something out. And it was like too much that he just died. I wonder, you know, like when they say knowledge is power. I wonder what Albert Einstein could have done if he was still alive. I wonder yeah, what he Albert Einstein probably, thought about. Probably today. couldn't do a lot because he'd be like a hundred years old. By by now, well, I'm pretty sure. Like, pretty sure he'd be the oldest person in the world, right? Wait, no, he was like 80 when he died, right? And that was like in 1955? He died... He died in... Yeah, 1955, yeah. April 18th. So he I think he was in his 80s. 1879. Oh, he was born on the day after my birthday, but I wasn't alive then. <laughs> no way. Yeah, he was born March 14th. And oh, he was maybe... Born March maybe. 13th. Hey, hey, well, you just... You just gave yourself away. You're yeah, I'm no, good. No, no, you're no, no. I know how what this is. You're Einstein. No. Oh, oh no. You faked your death. That's I know. What, <laughs> all that's up in your desk was the fountain of youth, <laughs> and you changed your birthday, but not, but not well enough. I just changed it back a day. That makes sense I'll too. Never know. That makes sense too, because the photo that I have on you for the podcast has gray hair. Oh. I forgot, yeah, he does have white hair. Fun fact, the origin behind my character's hair is that I was too lazy to give him colored hair. That's mm. that, that that's what it was. I was too lazy to give him colored hair, so I was like, it's is done. So you were you were you were motivated enough to give him cat ears, but you weren't motivated enough to give him colored <laughs> hair. Look man, colored hair, it's difficult, you know. I'm pretty sure cat just, ears would be harder. <laughs> I mean, when you're doing them for a long time, though, they get pretty easy, you know. Like, I, I have figured out how to do a lot of ears. I figured out how to do dragon ears. I figured out how to do um, cat ears. I figured out how to do normal human ears. Fun, mm. fun fact. There you go. Do you like my fun fact? Yes. Yeah, man. It took so me a your few. fun fact is the more that you <laughs> learn how to draw, you learn how to draw. Very wise. Mm-hmm. 
You want to know something I hear a lot of artists say when uh, people are trying to look up to them for like um, uh, for like any ways of trying to figure out if they want to draw better? Uh, I, I've heard a few like don't compare yourself and like don't uh, practice makes perfect or something like that. Mm-hmm. When people say practice makes perfect, I feel like that's something everyone hears nowadays, but it's something that people can't like people hear it, but then they're like, well, that doesn't help. Because, you know, you're trying to get better at drawing, and if you just practice, you don't know what you're practicing. So when people try to get, like, lessons, you know, like, I went into art school, was not the thing for me, because, you know, all I did was basically learn about the history of art. I did draw stuff. I learned a lot more about art, you know, like an action line. I've learned about that kind of stuff. And I've learned more about just art in general, you know, like, in the history of it, I guess. But I've learned that a lot of people hear the word... Um, just practice makes perfect but then again i feel like that's not the case in some people's um like in some people's cases i feel like what they need to know is the way on how i started drawing is i started drawing anime art i started drawing dragon ball art because i was like hey this will be pretty cool to draw one day you know i drew it and it looked pretty bad you know in my my opinion i think it looked pretty bad but then Later in life, I started watching drawing, you know, people drawing just their own thing, you know, they're going crazy, they're putting in like a bunch of uh, colors into like this one thing. And then I was like, what if I decided to take the way they draw their characters and I decided to use the way they drew into my own little thing? So I watched someone draw like for, I guess, eight hours in total. I figured out the way and how they started, you know, they started in between like the eyebrows and they worked on the eyebrows and then the eyes and then the hair and then like their uh, jawline and then like their facial expressions and etc. And then it just builds off, you know, like that's how I started getting better at drawing. It was like I just kept on repeating that those kind of steps and it was just like a bridge, you know, it was just a bridge on how you just kept on going between drawing stuff. That's how I got better at drawing and then later in life I started getting my own style and this is this is my drawing stuff now except Very for nice. when you draw yeah except for when you draw anime art when you draw anime art you have to do it like in that style so i mean like when you draw anime weird. you have to make it anime never thought about mm -hmm. that yeah jojo uh, has its own styles they have so many lines near the eyeballs i didn't realize that between dragon ball they have like two lines near the eyes mm-hmm that's, yeah. that's interesting to think about because my band class was the complete opposite. Oh, really? The, the saying in my band class was practice practice makes uh, permanent. Oh, in my in my band class, it, it was practice makes perfect. I, I don't think they did anything like oh. yours. My band teacher, like, like he said that he pointed out a good fact that practice doesn't make perfect. It makes, like, it makes permanent because... Like muscle memory, and like once you start doing something over and over, and you keep doing it wrong, it's like it's hard to get out of that. Mhm. Mm so that would, I I've always thought about that, like how practice makes perfect, isn't really true a lot of the time. Yeah. I, mean, like, I think for like in your, drawing, in your opinion, I think for like drawing, opinion, it's better, but. Yeah, in your opinion, like, what do you think is perfect of your drawings? What are you trying to achieve out of them, you know? Like, yeah. if they just say practice makes perfect, and they're like, here, draw this. And then if you draw it in their style, it's like, okay, you're learning their style, but what about your very own style? You could be drawing something probably better than theirs, or, and yes, there is that chance that you may not be drawing anything better than theirs, but you might be drawing it worse. However, the more you draw from your own style, the more you get better on the way you want to see uh, your drawings come out. Exactly. Like, be, like, I used to watch like other people draw. And I, got used, I, I think even if you're learning their style and not having your own at the beginning, I think that's still good because you like learn like what you should do and like what you shouldn't do and like what you want to do. I feel like I feel like people when they want to learn how to draw they immediately look up a video they're like uh beginning tips for artists or uh tips for beginning artists and then they just watch that kind of stuff and they, and they get overwhelmed with the amount of stuff they have to like pay attention to mm -hmm. in which or in which if you don't know this a stick person 
that is actually the uh, that's actually like a sketch of like an actual person. Like you just drawing a stick man, that's a sketch of an actual person. You could actually turn a stick man into something, you know, that you may not think you could have turned it into. That's actually what like when I draw, which is like the like one in a million years that I do it. That's the I like I make it like the arms are sticks and then I put like meat and bones around them. I do that too, yeah. Yeah. Uh I I'm starting when my only problem that I'm having right now is the torso. I'm having trouble doing the torso and shoulders. I feel like the arms are they're okay, but I feel like I could be doing better on them. But just weird. in my opinion, the torso I'm doing just I'm just having a lot more trouble with them. That's weird because I'm the exact opposite. I'm having trouble with arms and stuff. Arms and legs and hands. Yeah. Well, honestly, when you uh, see, like, because I've grown up around Dragon Ball, so I've seen, you know, shirtless Goku fighting, and I've seen the way on how they draw his uh, torso, like, his pecs, his abs, and etc. You know, like, his um, his pants. There you go. I'm trying to figure out the name. And the way how they draw, like, his pants, and the way they draw the, his arms. I've figured out, like... If you're gonna draw arms, you're gonna try and want to make them like just basically one long stick that breaks in half, and you could have that second half doing whatever you want, like wherever the arm's supposed to be. And yeah, that's that's how I just draw arms. I just draw one long stick, break it in half, and then you draw that second part of the stick going wherever you want it to be. Huh. And you just draw, and, you know, you just add meat and etc. Interesting. We're getting art advice in this podcast. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, man. It's it's honestly, one day, someone's gonna come across this and they're gonna be like, you know what? That might be some good advice for me. You know, some people may not see that as great advice, but to me, I feel like if a beginning artist has been through a bunch of stuff and you know nothing's working for him, maybe that could work for him. You never know. In a couple of years, you're gonna look back on this like once you're like r- amazing at art, you're gonna look back at this and be like, why did I use that technique? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, why did I create six? Why didn't I just draw the arms? So you're gonna think of it. Like in five years, you're gonna be like, oh, I remember this. We should watch this. You're gonna like watch it. Be like, what? What was I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I I could be giving myself just ideas that I completely change either tomorrow or like the next year or in a few more years. Yeah. Because I'm I'm having trouble doing torsos, so I've. I've decided at this point I'm going to try changing my style a lot when I'm doing them more. So uh, one of them is, yeah, one of them is like half of their torso, I forgot what it's called, but that is more smaller than like the size of how his the chest, chest is. The chest or the waist? Yeah, the waist, there you go. The waist is going to be more smaller than the size of their chest. Their chest is going to be a little more puffy. It depends on how buff the character is though. If they're not that buff, then I would try to make it look even. Even if but they're if skinny, they, they got a big chest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they they get like a chest that isn't even bigger than their neck. <laughs> yep. Oh, that 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 image alone that I just put in my head just reminded me of a Serapello video. Oh, uh, that guy. Do you know who that guy is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I used to love watching him. I've never watched him once. What the heck? Yep. It's a lot so of things that I haven't never, done. You've never watched Underpants? Nope. What? Really? That's a gold mine for you later, trust me. Oh, it was Underpants, like the one of him singing Megalovania? Like really loudly and abruptive? Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, then, under, yeah. There's like. Yeah, there's a few episodes for Underpants. Uh, it's basically just Undertale, but it's Underpants. It's uh, just a parody. Yeah, but that's a gold mine for you later if you like Undertale, or if you don't like Undertale. I don't, I don't know what your humor is. Uh, if you think loud no. equals funny, then maybe that that's for you. Yeah, no, I I enjoy Undertale, just not as much as other people put it up, make it out to me. Mhm. Because I feel like a lot I, of people like... with games like Undertale and Delta Rune, they imagine like it's like a masterpiece when it like yeah it's good, but it's not like I don't like it as much as people overhype it. For me, Delta Rune never stuck with me. Like, I watched the first episodes of other big YouTubers playing it, and I was like, 
this is it kind of just didn't stick with me you know because it's like sure they added in some of the old you know some of the people that you've seen before but it's like it just doesn't stick with me anymore i mean i have memories more memories of deltron than undertale because i like i did like a one hour speed run of the game oh so like you played the game a lot or did you just do a one-hour speedrun? No, I, uh, like, so when I, whenever I was bored, I was just like, okay, let's speedrun this, because Deltarune, once you, if you're not looking for, like, secrets or anything, it's a very short game, if you know what you're doing. Yeah. Is it, like, is it kind of like a Resident Evil game, when it's, like, you think it takes so long for you to actually beat the game, like, a speedrun? Yeah. Or did you know it actually takes, like, 30 minutes? Well, like, the main thing about Deltarune is, like... like Seven hours. The terrain is like like about puzzles and like learning what to do and like how these attacks work. And then once you play it for a second time, you know what everything is, so you just immediately get it done. Like a puzzle that took oh. me like five minutes took me like like three seconds the second time. Oh, so it's it's almost like it just kind of happens kind of quickly because, <clears throat> or, well, I guess it's not like that. I guess it's more of like the puzzles don't change. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. The main I, meat I of the play, game is puzzles, yeah. Yeah, I play zombies a lot. I play World War Two zombies a lot. And uh they have a puzzle. When you when you were saying like the second time you play it, you know, it's pretty easy because you know everything. That immediately popped in my mind a puzzle for the Thulean hammer. You know, it's you just shoot a bunch of blocks and you have to try and get them to match, you know, with the lightning facing you. Um <clears throat> It, like that puzzle doesn't change at all it just stays the same so like you can pull up something on your phone and it's like shoot this and then shoot that and then shoot this and then boom you're done it's like the fastest way you can get done with it hmm so yeah it was just that puzzle in mind that just immediately popped up when you were like the second time you know dude so all these puzzles are like so like that coffin dance puzzle or easter egg that was so complicated how do people find that out <laughs> i'm not sure because, yeah. like, you I, have to I, go to, like, a specific location in a specific spot, shoot it, and then go to the next and the next and the next. Yeah, I'm not sure how people come up with this. Like, they just find the most craziest ways, and they're like, hey, guys, look at this. It's like, what do they do? Are they just shooting everything in the map, and they hope for the best? I mean, that's what like, I do sometimes. Like, well, like if I have, like, a knife in a game, I just run around and start stabbing the air. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I really do wonder how people figure out that kind of stuff though. Cause like other Easter eggs, it's it's like oh you put you found this key, okay now put this key in a slot that you found in the first level. You, like you found like a key on the tenth level and you go to the first level, it opens it and you're like oh cool an Easter egg about like Doom Eternal or something. But then zombies, it's just like okay shoot 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 go 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 shoot that shoot that shoot that oh now there's a now there's zombie yeah. oh, now there's a dancing zombie with the with a crate. Oh mythic item perfect. <laughs> yep. That is definitely zombies. Yeah, zombies you know, is so fact, complicated. Yeah, I thought it took people like a week to figure out, but I found out the most it took someone to figure something out. Well, I guess it's technically, you know, people actually have never really figured out a puzzle, but in World War II zombies, the most it took someone to figure out like a map was just a day. Just 24 hours. That's how long it took for them to finish an entire thing. Like, out of like, like the five like maps there. Like, 24 hours, like, an actual 24 hours, or, like, just, like, one day, like, they wake up, play for, like, three hours, and they're like, oh, okay, no, I know it. It's the one day one. No, so, uh, it was, like, three hours in his entire day. Yeah, I I forgot what it was called. I forgot what the name of the map was. I, it, it was something Shore. The Darkest Shore, there you go. That was the longest thing it took someone to figure out how to do it, only because of a glitch that happened. It only took someone longer to figure it out because of a glitch that they couldn't even control. You know, it was the mm. game's doing. And what? and the glitch was, you know, you just needed a zombie to go where you needed it to go, but it would get, it'll get stuck, and then it couldn't move anywhere, so you would have to restart, and people didn't want to do that. Mm. So that's what happens, you know, that's the glitch. I think it's still a thing today. I'm not sure. I haven't mm. played the map. That's yeah, one of the reasons Frozen why Zone. I haven't played. I have World War Two on my ps4 but i've never played it because i heard that it was bad and like glitchy mm -hmm. I, I i hear that a lot from people uh the first like the starter map that you get um people say that that map's a really good map 
And in my opinion, I think it's also a really good map. It's just, you know, it has its own little downfalls after, you know, you've seen it a million times. Uh, but when it's like your first time seeing it, it's pretty good. When it's like your thousandth time, it starts to fall off fast. Maybe one day I'll download World War Two. Yeah, man, I, I can I can walk you through the you entire can Easter egg. Show me the ropes. Mm -hmm. okay. I can show you the hardcore Easter egg, or I can show you the normal way to do it. Cause I don't know if you have any DLCs, cause I have the Frozen Dawn one. No, I, I like think the Frozen I just Dawn. Got the actual game when it was free. Oh, uh, oh, I know what you're talking about when it was free for PS Plus. Yeah. yeah. I remember all my friends hitting it. They were like. World War II is free for PS Plus, and I was like, oh, great, I spent money on another $50 game that's free now. Perfect. Well, I mean, like, how long ago did you get it before PS Plus? Uh, uh if I had to say, I don't remember, I probably just meant, like, a month. Or a a month? <laughs> well, I guess a maybe, few months. Maybe not I was like gonna, a month. I was gonna say, like, yeah. a month is, like, that's a major X, but it's, like, like, three months, then, like... I was scammed. <laughs> Oh, dude, I've, that was, like, I, when the World, when the Modern Warfare 2 remake came out, um, someone bought it, like, the day before it came out for free. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, this is, this is free? Cool. And then I scrolled into the comments of the Twitter post that PlayStation put out where they said it was free, and the dude's like, I literally just bought this game 30 hours ago. Oh no! God, I couldn't imagine going through that. He's like wasted sixteen dollars, and then 30, 30 hours later, it's like, oh guys, it's free. I wish they kind of gave you a heads up on stuff that would have been free, like at least the games that would cost the most. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just at least those games. They don't have to talk about the games that are being released under them. As long as they talk about the games that cost the most and that they're going to be released on which month, then that's, then that's what I'm alright with. Yeah, well then, even if they do that, someone's going to buy the game a day before the announcement that this is going to come out. Well, I guess, yeah, that is true. Some people really wouldn't pay attention to, to the... And they do, they do kind of do an announcement because they like put it out like three days beforehand and then it comes out. Yeah. They do also... Like, I wonder how they just come out with, like, that stuff for free, you know? Like, I wonder if they talk with the business, or like, hey, can we put this for free on the store? And then they're like, sure. And they're like, cool. Well, a lot I of the wonder, free games are, like, happens. a lot of the free games, either no one plays, or, like, the developers have no interest in it anymore. Oh, yeah. Like, a year yeah, after I, the Final Fantasy VII remake came out, no one was talking about it, and then it came free on PlayStation Plus. <laughs> I, I, I haven't been uh with the Final Fantasy series like ever. Same. I I know about one of the characters. I know one of the characters is Cloud. I know I, that. I guy. I just know Cloud, Sephiroth, the black guy, and the woman. I only know Cloud. <laughs> Cloud's the only one coming to mind right now. Eh, probably because he's the like when you think of Final Fantasy, everyone thinks of Cloud. At least I think. Is, is he? Is he? Is he the guy like on the cover? Like is he the guy with blonde hair? Yeah, he's the, like, the he's the dude with the huge sword. Yeah, I, I was about to say the guy. Is he the guy with the sword? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's an, there's another guy with a huge sword called Sephiroth. I didn't oh, even know he, that. He, is he like another main character? Oh, he's the villain. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Bond guy with yeah. big sword faces. Gr gray hair guy with big sword oh yeah. i actually I, didn't I, I didn't know that he existed until he was added to smash brothers like two months ago oh yeah smash brothers yeah yeah you know i i never had a switch and the reason being is because they're like three hundred dollars yeah where i live yeah. i only where, got a switch because i saved up for like a year you know if i saved up my money from like a year from between my birthday money and my Christmas money, I probably would have been able to get one. But the reason why I'm holding off, at, like, I don't, you know, I don't have the money anymore. But I'm holding off purposely now because I was told and I heard somewhere that they're making a second Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the Switch Pro, something like that. Yeah, I saw that they were doing something like that, so I was like, maybe I should hold off right now. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, they did, they did kind of come up with a Switch Pro already. Basically, just yeah. a normal switch, but with better, but with better battery life and better resolution. 
Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I, I remember me seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah, we just went through an entire gaming... <laughs> an entire gaming thing. I didn't even have... All my questions that I have, you've answered most of them. And, like, not even with me asking, you just answered them on your own. Like, I had, what's it, the only one that I had to ask was, what's it like, like, living in Vegas? I guess, did I really answer that? I, I, no, you, living in you Vegas see, you is said a lot it was, more hotter. It's yeah. a lot more hotter than before in California, and I guess I'm just around better people. Like, like, there you go. You like on your own. You got the demon closet, art, cheese rants, <laughs> music, dogs. Hey man, what what can I say? I I got my own little stunts and powers. Right. I am Albert Einstein after all. <laughs> yeah, you are. But uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. What's your What's your favorite number? Like, since you're Albert Einstein, what's your favorite number? Is it like three hundred, five hundred, and seventy eight? Mm, my favorite number? No. My favorite number would have to be 2,324. Mm, my favorite number, my favorite number would be 4, because I can't count over that. <laughs> Either you can, or you just don't want to. I remember yeah. me being a kid, I was so happy counting over 100. And then after that, it's like, alright, I'm counting to 5, and I'm done. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bad at math. I mean, 4 is my lucky number. Oh, I guess it's not too lucky, because... Like, like I said, number five, what five to ten? You get my face if you guess right, and you said four, and I guess I, my four was in my head. So it's not too lucky. Yeah. Oh wait, no, but wasn't it three? Hold on, wait, I, I can look. No, it was four. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you're I one know. of the I few people. Really? You know what it looked I'll, like? All because of a I'll, number. All because of a ten percent chance. Yep. I'll take those chances, you know. I play a lot of games when it's like you got to work in order for you to like gamble on getting this character. If you get the character good on you, if you don't, then keep going, man. But yeah, I play a lot of games that end up they're like I play a lot of I, I don't know what they're called. Um I guess you could say that they're just games for your gambling, but instead they're free. And like everything's free, but etc. You know, you can buy stuff, or, you know, you can buy like money in game, but other than that, though you can play them for free, you can do them for free, you can do everything for free. You don't need to pay money to get into anywhere. But I play games like that, and let's say if you wanted to do a multi-summon, you would need 50, 50 monies. And you would have to go through, like, one mission what can get you one money. So if you do 50 missions, you can, you can go for a big summon, and you can have the potential chance of you getting, like, one of the good characters. Or you could have just gone through all that for nothing. And I don't know why, man, but it's those games that I play a lot of. I have, like, three games that are like that on my phone. I actually have four games now that I think about it. Well, I was going to say to stay away from casinos because you have a big gambling problem, but you're in Vegas, so it's kind of hard to stay away from them. Yeah, yeah they're everywhere, man. <laughs> you walk outside and there's just one there. There's one across the street. Oh shoot! That's my seventeenth, seventeenth slot machine this 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 hour. Oh man, there's another casino. Well, I'm you, you wake up and your house is just <laughs> you wake up and your house is just like a casino. <laughs> there's a casino building into your own house. No, it is your house. You just you just like live in the penthouse of the casino. Imagine living in a penthouse though. Like, and inside of a casino as well, imagine just thinking about people walking into your home every day. Hmm. Even without your permission. Yeah. Technically, you live in the casino. I would never, I would never want to live in a penthouse. I wouldn't want to live in a penthouse either. There's just too much glass where people can see you doing your own stuff. Yeah. I'd rather live in a home that I can have my own kitchen in, and my own bathroom in, and my own bedroom in, and I'm good. Yep. I can live with that stuff. I mean, Anything like, more? Yeah. Like, 10 kitchens, 19 bathrooms. I'm good, man. I, One I don't bedroom. Need all that. <laughs> but it's the size of a casino. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's built on the side of your home. Good. 
Yeah, I would never want to live there. I don't want to live in a big city like Vegas either. Just like in a house. Mm-hmm. Like, I think my favorite I, place to live would be like a small town. I almost died here, by the way. You know that? Well, I, you never told me that. I I almost got ran over, you know? I, I mean, that was pretty cool. They wanted to get their next slot machine. <laughs> they wanted to get to their next slot, man. They saw they, they saw the 15th slot machine that you got at your house <laughs> that day, and they were, oh, they just wanted it. 15% off, man. 100% Point. off. Just steal it. 0.01% chance that I could get this. I must. Chances increased. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost got ran over once. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I know, I know what death was like. Wow. Well. I I can confirm though. I never saw a Grim Reaper just standing over there, man. Like on the sidewalk. Just Did like, your life man. flash before your eyes? No, not really. No, to be honest, I was not even in the mood to get ran over. If I got ran over, I would have been like, mm. oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like standing there yawning as a car goes 1,500 miles per hour at you. I just, I, just wanted to, I just wasn't in the mood, man. You know, I had other stuff I needed to do in my life. But that was not one of them. I don't have time to get run over. I've got schoolwork, man. I got school, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Just didn't have the time for it. Uh, you, you, you just put your hand out like, no. <laughs> just <laughs> stop no, the car. No, no. It's like, no, 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 none of that. Shame on you. God. Oh, I mean, at least if you would have gotten hit, you'd be like, uh, okay. And they just, like, pass away peacefully. Yeah, they, they would have had the thought on their mind that, like, I was alright with it, man. Like, as long as I got to where I needed to be, I'm alright with it. They accidentally r run you over. They just, like, they, like, check on you because there's, like, blood everywhere and your face is just meh. <laughs> my, my face is just, like, more of, like, a sleeping. It's like, finally, God. <laughs> I haven't slept all night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't able to sleep. They, they they run they run over to you. They're like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." And you're like, "Ah, it's fine. I'm I'm relaxing." Oh, it happens. It, 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 it's whatever. It is yeah, what it, it is. is. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, I love them. <laughs> Wait, did you did they like come out and like say sorry, or did they just like drive by you after they ra almost ran you over? They. They got mad at me. They got mad at you? Yeah. yeah, they got mad at me. So what What it was is it was like 1, I guess 1 a.m. Or not 1 a.m. It was 1 p.m., my bad. And um, I think this was like right when school was over. So I was going through like this walking, like this walk section thing. I, I, I forgot what they're called. And I think there was no light. Like there was no light buttons at the time. So you couldn't press the button. You just had to go when people were like, yeah, sure, you can go. So, what I ended up doing was my hood was on like far too like far too much that I normally have it on, but you know I was just there, man. I was like, all right, you know I'm gonna keep waiting. I thought I looked over all the way to see if there's any cars coming. My hoodie covered up a lot of the a lot of my vision. So then once I saw a truck pass by, I didn't see any other car for like a millisecond. I was like, all right, time to go. And the second I even put my foot on like my pedal. Because I think I was either on a bike or I was walking. I'm not sure. You know, you would figure I would remember this, like, at the back of my you hand. You would figure that you'd remember the time that you almost <laughs> died. Yeah, you'd figure I remember every little detail. But I think I was on my bicycle, and I was just going. The second I put my uh, foot on my pedal, I think that's when I heard the truck start screeching. And I was like, well, if I'm dying, I'm... I'm going out, you know. So I just kept on going. I didn't stop. So you, so Which you're probably, actually, so you're actually going. It is what it is, and just yeah, kept yeah. going. Yeah, I just kept going, man. I was like, look, listen, listen, man. I'm just too tired. I got my own things right now. But really, what happened was, they, he, he was like, he was out of my vision, like from my hoodie, like you know, he, he was like a few, not a few feet, but I guess like more than a few feet, you know, and. The second he saw me put my foot on my pedal, he was like, uh-oh. So then he, like, slammed on the brakes. You know, he had, he had a lot, like, he had a long distance. I guess you could say it was a little, um, 
little overreactive, but then again, I, I'm alive right now, so I guess that's cool. Yeah. But I heard it coming, and I was like, well, <laughs> let's see if I can outrun it. So well, what, when he got when he got mad at you, did did you like stop to like talk to him, or did you just keep biking as he yelled at you? I, I had to stop. He what he did is because uh, there was like no one around as well. Um, what he did, what like what he ended up doing is he slammed on like his gas pedal when once I got by him. He slammed on his gas pedal and he like drove in front of me and then he like slammed on the brakes and then he got out and started talking to me. And I was so like, you okay, should you well. should have just, just, just like picked up your bike and like gone. <laughs> just one eighty. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> go, go through the neighborhood, man. All right, I, I forgot something at school. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back, man. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's been waiting there for a year. He's waiting for you to come back. You should go check on him. <laughs> I got a million dollar appointment, sir. Um, Sir, I, this, it's been, it's been, can you just like wait here, please? I'll be right back. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was in middle school around this time. So, and at the same time, I was wearing a jacket that I liked the most, and me just standing there, you know, what's more awkward about that as well is me liking a jacket I like the most is because that jacket stands out from all the other jackets that you normally see in school, because it's almost like it's bright colored, you know, it's not, it's not fully bright colored, it's not like neon colors or anything, but it has more colors to it than every other jacket. Hmm. I like that jacket though because it was more green, and I liked green for a long time in my wait, life. Wait, wait, was it, was it a jacket or a hoodie? It was more of like a hoodie. You is, know? It, is it is it your Dragon Ball one that you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, it's that. One. Yeah. I don't know where it is right now, but it's probably in my room, vibing. That's like alone. Uh, <laughs> the t- the the only two times I've seen your clothes, throw the three times, sixty six percent of the time you were wearing a Dragon Ball hoodie. <laughs> yeah. When when I got a cut on my uh, finger. I don't, I don't know if you saw that, but I got a cut on my finger and I posted it on uh, Instagram uh, today, this morning. You can still see you it did? as well. I mm-hmm. remember, like, I got, I, on Instagram, I normally like speed run through stories. So, wait, was it on your art account or your meme it's, account? It's, 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 it's my main account. It's my last story. No, it's not my last story. I, I've posted more before we got into this. I would see your... Okay, Mel, never mind. There's four times now. Four times I've seen you, and fifty percent of the time it's been a yeah dragon ball shirt. Yeah, uh, when I was um, when I did take a picture of that cut, I was wearing my dragon ball shirt, and then I took it off, and then I only took it off because it's like it's been two days or three days since I've been wearing it, so I was like, you know, it's kind of getting smelly for other people. Might as well take it off and (laughs) throw it in the hand. You don't care if you're disgusting wearing it, you just care if other people smell you. Yeah, I I don't feel disgusted wearing it, you know, as long as other people won't start thinking or telling me, like, hey man, you kind of smell. Like, as soon as you you hear someone going, (laughs) you just, you just, like, gotta change it. (laughs) I'm walking by someone all of a sudden I hear... You're like, my dog isn't here. <laughs> Where's my dog? <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, but yeah, I'm more worried about what other people thought about it. Oh, you didn't and cut when... your finger, you liar. Oh, it wasn't my finger, it was my palm of my hand, but... Yeah. There you go, man. Oof. I, I, just put a, I just put a little white mark over it for the people that have sensitive stomachs. And they see it, you know, because... People that have sensitive stomachs, and they're like, they could see a cut, and then they'll start throwing up. Yeah, nice job trying to put a... It's like like 10% well, of I, it's covered up. I didn't want to cover it all up. I didn't want people to think, like, I was taking a picture of my hand, you know, showing it to people. Owie, my hand. <laughs> Owie, I got a boo-boo. I got a bo- <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna cover it up. What? I, I purposely didn't try to cover up as much as I do on my art account when I uh, tease an art. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Like every single art account on Twitter does. It's not on Twitter, on Instagram. Yeah. I, I've seen... Well, most people, they just flap like a sticker on top of it, and then they're like, coming tomorrow. And it's like, well, they have nothing to expect tomorrow if they can't see anything about it, you know? So my well. Yeah, with yours, I can kind of see... Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit on what's going on. Like, I've seen so, people who, like, s- just scribble all over the entire artwork. 
<laughs> yup. Nah, that's what I do as well. Yeah. But but I I don't I don't mean like yours where you can see stuff. I mean they like completely cover the entire artwork. Oh, oh. I I purposely try not to cover it all up. If I I can't like, what's like what's the point of you teasing it if they can't see anything about it? You know. So what exactly. I try and do is I try to leave the eyes there so you can see the eyes. I try to leave a little bit of the head so you can see some of their hair and how the hairstyle is going to be. And then you know I just. If I'm if I'm happy about one part of the thing that doesn't have anything to do with that kind of stuff, then I'll try and tease that a little bit so you can see it. <clears throat> yeah, it, it just gives you something to look forward to tomorrow. You know, you got you got an idea of what's going on, but you don't know what's like what it is. Whoa. Mhm. Mm there you go. Life advice. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, yeah. Then again. Then again, I know a lot of art accounts that just slap a sticker on top of it, and then they're, like, number one, like, the biggest art account, and they don't do normally what I do. So it's, like, something I'm doing is wrong, but then again, I don't really care about my art account. <laughs> don't, sorry, I don't care about my art account? Yeah, I don't put too much effort into it that I do in my main account. <laughs> like, yeah. my main account is The weekend. Yeah, I mean, you don't put a lot of effort into your main account either. Like, your last post was, like, what, like, three months ago? <laughs> it was, yeah. I just uploaded my story. Yep. Yeah, six days ago was my last post. <laughs> we're working on the seven. <laughs> we're working on... We're gonna go for a week? Yeah. I, I used to put a lot of effort into it, though. It's, it's, like, so, I used it's... to upload at least six videos a day. It's so weird because when I hear people like they like haven't uploaded in like three months, I think like of like big YouTubers like Tuxbird and like who like put like a lot of effort into their videos. But you just like you just go like post a meme and you're like nah. It's just a meme. Yeah, it's just a meme. Who cares? And then you just abandon your entire account. <laughs> Never go on it ever again. Only talk to friends. Yep. Yep. I I don't I don't even remember what I used to do like. When I was, um, when I first moved here, I wasn't, like, a believer in, like, social media. I was, like, a yeah, person... Yeah, social media doesn't that... exist. Oh, no. Like, I knew social media existed, but I wasn't a person that was, like, fully on board of being a social media type of person. Like, I wasn't down to become anyone that would become famous over memes or anything like that. Yeah. I used to... Yeah, and then later, later in life, I met... I met some of my friends. Um, I met you. You know who I'm talking about. You you seen uh, some DMs that I've shown you between me and him. I've I've shown you a guy named Wes Bunny. Or Wes Bunny. Is he the dude who who you told him to get on Gamer? Yeah, get on Gamer. There you go. <laughs> not not don't know what game. Just get on. Just get on game. And then uh, I showed you the DMs of me and him, or just me spamming bacon and cheese. Oh, that's the dude. Yep, he's the same guy. Wait, didn't you spam, like, I, we were talking one time, and then you started spamming something else after bacon and cheese? Oh, um, yeah, it, it was on our Instagram account. I didn't do it on Discord, because, um, Instagram, it filters out only, like, two messages. Or, it shows you two messages, and it's, like, more. Yeah, but so I it thought, wasn't, like... It wasn't, like, one. Didn't uh, you did spam. you spam him spam him like with like the father emote or something? Oh I, I think I know what you're talking about. I spammed him I did spam him with that one, but the very first time I spammed him with anything was like a Sans Undertale guy. But he was like a guy cosplaying as Sans Undertale, so he really wasn't Sans. But he was a guy cosplaying as it and it was like a minimum effort, but it was just the effort enough that you can see that it's Sans. Oh, so you like he like painted his face, but like you could still see the skin underneath. Yes, yeah, that oh, was pretty much okay. what it was. And he wore like a blue jacket just to show. No, it wouldn't even be like a hoodie. It's just like an entire tr blue trench coat. <laughs> yep, that was the very first thing I spammed him with. And then later in life, I met another person, and then I met someone off off of them. And me and, me and uh, that guy still talk. His name is Turner. That's what he goes by on, like, everything. He goes by Turner. And his name is Turner, so... I talk to him sometimes. He doesn't have Wi-Fi on what I was told. 
And I was told he's getting Wi-Fi in like two months, so we can play again by then, but until then. Me me and him and Wes Bundy, we can get the group back together. We can vibe. Get we the group back together. Yep, get the boys. We haven't played in more than a year. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. The last time me, like, all three of us played was almost a year ago. And then that first guy that I was talking about, the uh, first uh, Big guy that cheese, I met, man. Turner. The first guy that I met, Turner, uh, his name was Fluffy. Fluffy? And, uh, yeah, his name was Fluffy. He, not gonna lie, now that I'm looking back, when me and him talked, he was a lot like Dova. That's all I'm gonna say. Ooh. Yeah, when me and him talked, he was a lot like Dova. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a changed man today. I changed good. a lot. Yeah, I changed a lot. Changed a lot. You went from swearing every single day <laughs> to never swear. I haven't seen you swear once. Uh, the only time you would probably see me swear is when an emote glitches out. And you know, like the Shrek emote. It's like if that emote glitches out, and then you and then you see just those words. Oh, uh, oh, that. Oh, yeah, you're an emote curse. Yeah, I, I I still see it till this day. Yeah, I think you spammed like Fortnite Ninja or something, but like it it wasn't the emote; it was just the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I used to spam a lot. Like when I first got in, like from two years ago, I spammed a lot. But when I got into Smitty Space until like today, I don't spam that much anymore. Oh, you spam in Salt Server a lot though. I do spam in solid server. I, 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 it's, I, I mean, I can, man. I, I just, I just can't hold it back. I see the, I see the, you know, I see the thing. I just, I got to, man. You see the, you see the control V. You see the enter button. You see Fortnite injure emote. For a I know what emote. I don't think so. Oh, oh, I think he does. Wait, he does? Um, Is he? I think it's Money Space that has an injured emote. Well, oh no, he does. He does. It's not the one I'm talking about, though. He has this one. Yeah, he has. No, I don't think so. Yeah. That uh, yeah, one. but I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm thinking. I, I, I was thinking of this one. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That uh, <laughs> the one that you showed in the uh, second one is the one that me and you were immediately thinking about, and I love that it became an emo in Smitty Space. Yeah, when that was that was emote, the reason why it's an emo in Smitty time. Space is because it wasn't. I put it as an emo in like a group chat, and then uh, someone from that group chat joined Smitty Space and said we should have this as an emo. I'm not sure who, and then uh, they're just like, okay, now we have no Fortnite Ninja emote. <laughs> yeah, like when when that was added in, that was around the time when emotes were incredibly hard just to get in. Yeah. Yeah, like, at first, it was like, you could actually show a pretty good emote, and then it just, like, just nothing from it. Like, you don't get mm -hmm. a word of it being added, you don't even get a word if it was good or bad. Just and then I got ultimate and started adding a bunch of emotes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I showed the meme of uh, the cat. Uh, it's the anger one, and then, like, the calm, and then the, you yes. know, that cat one. It's not. It's not the melon uh, one. It's. It's. No. Yeah. It's. It's the the like yawning cat. Yeah, the cat that was at, like mid yawn, and it looks like it's going through several emotions. I first. I was the one who showed the meme, and Dova was the one who actually added the emoji of the cat inside of Smitty Space. Yep. And I was actually kind of triggered about that because I had so many better emotes that he could have added, and then he just goes into like a meme, and he's like, "I like that one." <laughs> I mean, it's a classic emote. Everyone uses those emotes. Yeah, technically, it was Dova the one that added it, I, or that added it. Yep. So. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <clears throat> uh huh. Oh, it's not even emotes. Not even Fortnite Ninja. I forgot. I, I named Fortnite Ninja. <laughs> Fortnite. I got Fortnite. <laughs> Oh, and then Shake was another emote that I was, uh, that I, like... Oh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, Shake was another emote that I banged into the server. Yep. 
I gotta find it. One mm -hmm. second. Oh, I found it. What I do? I don't have uh, anything. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there it is. But there it is. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know. I was just feeling that one when you posted it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to all your emotes, though, because if we added every single emote that um that you put, we'd be, like, over 250. Yeah. Discord alone would probably try and shut down Smitty Space because of yeah. the amount of emotes. You can't even have, even with, like, fully maxed out servers, you can't have more than 250. Good. Yeah, I, I understand that as well. Like, I, I know that I, I even post some emotes in there that are, that are like, I'm not 100% on board with, but then it's like, I might, I just do it anyway because it's like an expression. Like, it's like an expression that I think people uh, would use. Well, there's, so, yeah, there, mean. there's some that you did, like, adding, like, this one, the Yeehaw emote. Yeah, I, I remember the, adding that one. I like that emote. Yeah, you added that one, you had ultimate. <laughs> no, I, I never had ultimate. Yeah. You're close, though. Yeah. I am close, yeah. I, I don't really uh, think about rules as much as I used to when I first joined. Whenever the first thing I think about when I get in Smitty Space, like I open up my phone or I either, um, or I just pop on my computer, the first thing I do is go into GIF only and post a GIF. Only one, though. I will never change the GIF. I must create a chain. Well, you did, like, what's your next chain? Because it was like, it, it was, it, it was Norman Reedus saying, and Death was, Stranding, like just like, can you show me the nearest wall? And then, yeah, and now it's now it. it's Among Us characters twerking. <laughs> yeah, I I'm looking for the next one. I want it. I don't. I don't know if I want it to be like my most favorite one. I think I'm, it might be either. I got a good email. I got. I got, I got a good email for you to use. One second. I gotta find oh, it. You do. I have it saved. I have. Oh. I have. A, I have a few. This one could work. Mogus. I um, like that one, yeah. <laughs> That's sus. Where, where's another one? This one? <laughs> and then, uh... Dude, he's... This one? He's going faster than, like... Oh, I love that one. I, that one might be the next. <laughs> you love the Iron Man Ninja? <laughs> that one's definitely... You know what's starting it now? Hold on. You get it? Oh, okay. I'll, there I'll, we go. I'll, I'll, I'll do it with you. One second. <laughs> Dude, yeah, chain. I, I, I only stopped the Norman Reedus one because Cena threatened to like, um, block the person that uses it next. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And oh, hopefully yeah. everyone else joins in on it. <laughs> you posted yeah. it perfectly in sync with the top one or the one that I posted. I think Discord. Um, what is it? Discord. It, 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 yeah, I can't speak. I'm pretty sure Discord PC makes it automatically sync up. Oh, okay. But like on mobile, Sometimes it's it's emotes that are like synced up. Yeah, well, on mobile, it's so frustrating because on PC, when you post a GIF, it like restarts the next GIF to like, or align with yours. But when you post a GIF or like an emote in um in a do 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 on mobile, it just does its own thing. It's annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. All right, man. Do you have anything else for me? Yes. Before we go, because I think it's going to wrap up now, I need to know the most important question. Because, like, you're, cause like, you've, like, your Discord name is Flaming Mac and Cheese, and you have so many cheese nicknames. What, you went from... Mm -hmm. You had Poison Cheese... Cheese Capitals. <laughs> what are some other ones? Mr. Uh, cheese? Uh, Mr. Cheese, Atomic Cheese, or Radioactive Cheese. Yeah. Uh, Halloween had its own little theme, Spoop Spoopy Cheese. Yeah, that I one. I forgot which one. Yeah, I forgot which one uh, Thanksgiving was. I think it was just, uh, turkey Thanksgiving cheese. cheese. Yeah, it may have been Turkey Cheese. Oh, no, no I think it was Thanksgiving Cheese, because I remember talking to you during Thanksgiving. I'm not sure if you remember oh, this, yeah, but I, yeah. for some reason, I can't remember a single thing in school, but this is stuck in my brain. Um, when we were both elders, talking about, like, the elder meeting, if they don't show up, we eat them. That's been stuck in my brain. 
<laughs> I remember that. Oh my god. <laughs> if they don't show up, we eat them. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah. I'll turn this into two questions really quickly. What is your favorite cheese name? That should be a pretty, pretty quick one. And after that, what is your favorite type of cheese? Or like your cheese tier list? All right, I've been asked that question before. Uh, I've actually been asked both these questions before, and I'm gonna try and give you a different answer. Well, not like a different answer, but like a different, a different way to say the answer. My favorite name that I've ever actually like named myself was probably either Spoopy Cheese or Snowy Cheese. I or... like radioactive cheese a lot. I <laughs> thought you picked yeah, that. Yeah, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say radioactive cheese does score pretty high. I liked radioactive cheese, and the only reason why I named myself Poison Cheese was because I felt like I was food poisoned yesterday when I was uh, eating something. Uh, it's like, were you actually, yeah, or did I you was just all think right. that? Um, I I just thought it. I I was I think I was pretty close to actually having like diarrhea, but I wasn't. <laughs> uh, I was eating. No, I was drinking milk. Yeah, there you go. And it expired like two days ago. Ooh. From like on the day when I was drinking it. Yeah, and I didn't realize it until i read like my mom was like you do you know uh, if that's expired yet and i was like i don't know and then i looked at it and it was expired by like two days so i was food poisoned but you it didn't even notice bad. yeah you wonder what i found out as well you know like on the uh on the gallon milks uh they have like that dent like that dent inside yeah you know, oh like, yeah when it pops out it's expired yeah i just found out about that as well yeah, i found out about like that up. two days ago <laughs> yeah, I looked up when um, I looked up uh, what I should do if I drank like expired milk, and it, it was just basically all I got was you'll be all right in like the next hour or like a day or after you sleep or something. Um, mm -hmm. I looked up that and I saw just under that it was like uh, a fun fact about the milk, and it showed that when it's expired that part will pop out, and I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool to know now. Was the jug popped out? Uh, it was, yeah. But, it, uh, I mean, it was pretty low. Like, the milk was pretty low, so... I was, I guess I was just... I, I guess I was just trying to finish it, anyway. Hmm. So, Anyways, uh, on to the last question, the biggest question. What Top five favorite cheeses, from worst to best. Mm, top five favorite cheeses, from worst to best. Or you could do top ten if you have a lot more. Honestly, I don't eat. I can't remember uh, more than five. I only remember three. So your name is Cheese, but you don't know <laughs> any Listen, cheese. Man, I'm I'm not a I'm not a cannibal. You're a fraud. I, I don't You're... eat my cheese buddies. Oh well, then let me phrase it differently. Which one? Which one do you? Which one tastes the best? But like you like. Out of every like, cheese. What, what's your favorite cheese? What's your favorite cheese? Yeah. All right. Here, you know what? We'll I'll give you three cheeses. All right, from worst uh, to best. The third cheese. Mm -hmm. The third cheese is uh, the worst, like the absolute worst that I can't eat ever again. Middle cheese is the cheese that I'm all right with, and then the first cheese is the cheese that I will eat every day. All so, right. But I said that you just don't eat cheese, though. You eat your children. I no, no. It's a hypothetical my, thing. My, it's hypothetical, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I've took a, you know, you know, like those things when they figure out something based on like a test. You know, like they figure out what you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these questions. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. So, the worst cheese I have ever, technically speaking, I have ever tasted is probably. Um, I. I I can't remember the cheese name. It's the cheese with holes in it. Oh, Swiss? Uh, yeah, that one. Swiss cheese. I I just didn't like it. Like, I had it, and I was like, oh, God, what is this? I, I, just, I, I Swiss I, I, cheese is one of my favorite cheeses. Swiss? Really? Yeah. You like that? Well, oh, I you, you, might, you, might be, you might be thinking of a different one. Like, do you mean, like, the, like, the white one with holes? Oh, yeah, 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 that one, that one, that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that is Swiss then. Because there's, like, other ones like Gouda that have, like, holes in them. And, like, I don't like oh, Gouda. Oh, yeah. So. Anyways, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Number two, this is very, right, very bye. important information. <laughs> yeah, number two. 
if I, I don't. Technically speaking, there is no just plain cheese because every cheese is like its own thing. But if I had to guess, the most common type of cheese made is just like I'm looking at it right now because I Cheddar? forgot what Swiss Swiss cheese was. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. It says hard cheese. Hard I'd rather cheese. have hard cheese as my second. Yeah. Um. What I used to do with hard cheese is uh, wait. Hard you know, cheese or hard like hard cheese or like. Like is it like firm? I mean, that's, that's the name of it. I want to. Or like heart. Oh wait, no. Okay, never mind. Because it says hard cheese right here, but then it goes on to like everything. Okay. Like H A R T or H E A R T. Like your blood pumping or like oh, no. hard. H A R D. Okay, just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my second favorite cheese is Parmesan cheese. I will have that on top of spaghetti any day. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. And then my my most favorite one, the one that I theoretically will eat every day, is Mexican cheese. In an alternate cheese. universe, Mexican cheese. I haven't what? You haven't tried Mexican cheese? Nope. Listen, I'm a basic man. You give me some cheddar, some yeah. some marble, some Swiss, some feta, some Parmesan, some mozzarella. I'll eat Not that all even up. Even Mexican cheese? Nope. They didn't even name Mexican cheese, man. What the heck? No, I've tried like the only like I've tried uh well, this, this 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 was a trick question. Cheese is always good. You can't you can't make you can't. No, there's no bad cheese. <laughs> you can't go wrong with cheese. This is a trick question, and you failed. Oh no! Your name is Cheese, and you failed no! the cheese test. Well, to be fair, the cheese that I'm talking about is on fire. You know, it's overcooked. It's probably burnt. You know, flaming mac and cheese, f mac. It goes together. You know, flaming. Yo, wait. Hold on. Let's say, let's, you're like, from from my count here, you have 95 subs, so you're like five away from an 100, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For your 100 sub special, you should make mac and cheese and set it on fire. Maybe, maybe I would do that, yeah. I have a 100 sub special right here. Uh, it, it's, you know... If I don't end up wanting to do that, because I end up doing it, or I might do it on stream, or I might do it when I'm at, like, more subscribers, either at 200 or 150, I don't know. I didn't really celebrate when I got to 75 as well, which I probably should have, or when I got to 50. I didn't even celebrate when I got to 50. I celebrated when I got to 25, and I was like, hey. But yeah, once I get to 100, either I'm going to light cheese on fire, or I'm going to read something. I'll tell you that. I will be reading something. Reading something, you say? Mm-hmm. I have, read the I have fitness the gram pacer test here and everything. No, Wait. that's too short. It, it wouldn't be good enough for like. Are you gonna read the entire Harry thing. Potter series? <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's like a bookmark on like the top of like your web browser, you know? Like. You oh, I thought you meant like a physical bookmark. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> you know, I actually uh, when I first got a hold of a Harry Potter series, I was learning how to read. And my mom was like, um, here, watch someone read this to you. And, you know, you just figure out the words because it's like, I knew how to read most of the words. I just didn't know how to read the really long words. And my mom was like, just read or just listen to him read. And, you know, you follow along, read everything with him. And the way he pronounces the word, keep in mind every way, you know, like if you don't know how to pronounce the word, you just, you know, keep in mind. I wanted, the more I watched that guy read to me, the more I wanted to actually start reading stuff and uploading it to YouTube. But then that became a dead dream, like a day when I finished a Harry Potter book. Oh, wow. You gave yeah, up after one day. The next day, man, I just, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I was like, you know what, man? I'm good. You could have had yeah. like 2,000 subs now. If you would have just continued. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, oh. other people probably would have wanted to read along with me. I read along with... I mean, if they had the book. I, I Yeah, but Harry Potter has more than, like, a million sold books. And not even, like, just a million. They have, like, a lot more than just sold books with it. Well, so I mean, there is a good chance someone... There is special... Like, have there. you like have you heard about the... Like their Harry Potter books, like the like there was like like only like the first one hundred of them have a special print in them, that there's like like a typo. 
and oh, the rest no, are I haven't. different. Yeah, there's like there's like a certain amount of books that like spelt J.K. Rowling's name wrong. Mm-hmm. So, so like, like there is like, it's like if you have that one, it's like it's like actually like thousands of dollars. Hmm. Wow. Because there's like there's like there's like a thousand of them out there. Wow, I've never heard of that. I heard of that when I was like in like like how many years ago? It must have. It was like at least like seven years ago that I heard about it. Mhm. Yeah. Wow. Well mm-hmm. now I, I well now I know that, but I definitely don't have one of the first uh, one thousand copies. You never know. About the book. You mean you could have? They could have put it back. They could have put it back on the shelf. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> that is true. You know, if you're not going to read the book, why keep it? You know. Exactly. Mhm. I mean, it all it all is just money for later that you're going to end up using. <laughs> all right. I like how. I like how almost all of the touch has been giving bad advice. <laughs> Me and you. Yeah, we've been giving bad advice. <laughs> for for most stuff, but for other stuff, it's been genuine advice. But genuine, other, yeah. Yeah, for other stuff, it's like you should probably keep a Harry Potter book that has the name spelt wrong. You should probably listen. Listen, <laughs> if you if you have the Harry Potter book that has J.K. Rowling's name name put on it, don't sell it. Don't don't sell it. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Someone just like sold it. Like, they're like at the bookstore. So they just gave it. They're watching this podcast. They're like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, no takes backsies. <laughs> All right. I All think right. for the one hundred so special, I might end up lighting cheese on fire. That sounds like a much more better idea than me reading mac and cheese thing. on fire. Yep. Oh, you know. Yeah. I, I, you know, I know soda and fire is a pretty good mixture. I what? Mean, <laughs> because I can get a lighter, you know. My dad has like ten lighters, so I can just grab one, get soda, pour it on uh, some mac well, and cheese. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Fire. Hear me out. Ten sodas, ten lighters. Oh, I could I could add like a little trail going to it. You're gonna burn down your house. <laughs> No, my my backyard is just rocks. So I'll be fine. <laughs> you put it on your hardwood hardwood floor. Trail of fire. <laughs> just <laughs> I just leave it going through my house. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, I mean, you don't have a house anyway because you hydraulic pressed it. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting about that man. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm 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 living on the streets. I forgot. <laughs> Oh, I just God. live, you know, I just live wherever I can find a house. Wherever. Where, you're in, like, in, like, the back of a Walmart right now? <laughs> they never know. They will never Those know. Those fools. 100 sub special. I make flaming mac and cheese. Burn down Walmart. Gone wrong. Go wrong. Go wrong. Gone That'd wrong. be perfect. <laughs> I gotta add that, like, 50 <laughs> times in the title. With gone the, wrong. The cops call. Caps. Gone wrong. Gone wrong. Not clip it. Gone wrong. Gone wrong. I think Bill that Gates is... shows up. <laughs> Bill Gates uh, collab. <laughs> collab. <laughs> uh, I think Talk that's like a <laughs> Doc like me. Bill Gates comes to my house. <laughs> oh god. You're uh. in my house. It's just the back of Walmart. Oh, you don't have you don't have a house anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I, it was all for the video. The the imaginary hydraulic press video. It's a green screen. <laughs> that's my house All right. I, I, just, th- I just get the 500 million dollar mansion thing and I just put that in the back <laughs> yep you, you like go in there like like to like see if you can afford it and instead of like looking around the house to see if you can buy it you just take photos of it <laughs> I just I just sneak into the property to take pictures you know that pictures that people didn't get and I just put it in the back you see, like, families, like, going to, like, look at houses. You just, like, knock them out and be like, Yes, I am, uh, Julian. I am, uh, Mark. You, you're Mark and Julian at, at once. 
Mark Julian. That's my yes. Name. I have split personality disorder. We don't speak about the middle name. It's, we don't speak. We don't speak about. That's your middle name. That's my. That's my middle name. Mark. Yeah, we don't speak that. about the middle name, Julian. There you go. Perfect. Oof. Yep. All I right. Think, I think that's a perfect place to end this. All right. Me too. Thank you for coming on. It was really fun. Oof. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't forget about editing this. It'll be all right. All right. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Thanks for everyone watching. The two people who decided to watch it. Uh, and I will hope you had a good time. Uh, next podcast, I'm hopefully going to have another guest because I have like three in line. <laughs>